Am I detained? No, okay, I'll see you guys later. That, that's fine. What's your name? What's your name? I don't need to give you my name. Nor do I, sir. Yeah, you do. I'll go. Look, all right, I'll go FOIA your policies and see if you do. It's not on your shirt. How do I know you're even a cop? Really? I'm at the police station. They're filming this up here. But that doesn't mean anything. Here's what I'm telling you, sir. I don't want you on the police department parking lot. I don't want you on the police department parking lot. I'm asking you to leave the police department. What's your name? I'm asking you to leave the police department. Carney, C A R N E Y. Don't don't get jumpy, sweetheart. What's your name? Don't call me sweetheart. Don't get jumpy. Don't call me I'm asking you to get out the I'll call you what I want. You understand? I'll call you what I want. They probably don't understand, but the guy speaking to the police certainly does. You just heard the voice of James Freeman one of the most fearless, outspoken, and knowledgeable police auditors in America. Freeman recorded this interaction with police in Denison, Texas. The video was from a few years ago, but has started going viral yet again on social media. On Reddit over the past few days, it has hundreds of thousands of views. Clearly, putting uninformed, ego-driven police in their place never gets old. Freeman specializes in talking to police the way they sometimes browbeat and try to intimidate ordinary citizens. What's your name? What's your name? You got a bunch of disrespectful punks over here, huh? Shoemate, what's your badge number? Is it 235? Who's the kid? What kid? He's a police officer, sir. Okay, I'm asking you to get off the I thought you had to go through puberty before you could become a police officer. I'm asking you to get off the police department property. I'm not on the property, I'm on the public sidewalk. This is part of the property. No, this is a public easement right next to the road. Okay. You want me to walk in the road? Sure. That's what you want me to do? No. Do what you want to do, sir. At no point did Freeman actually step in the street. He knows that once he does something like that, the police could arrest him for jaywalking. So he turns down the police invitation and stays within the law. And to be clear, it is settled law that citizens can record and film police. Furthermore, the Supreme Court has ruled repeatedly that our First Amendment freedom of speech includes criticizing police, even using vulgarities, verbally or visually, and asking police to do things that are anatomically impossible. The courts have ruled that police can require a bystander or a witness with a camera to stand 10 feet back from law enforcement officers, but criticizing a police officer and verbally badgering or haranguing them is protected speech and not interference. Now, to be clear, a lot of police officers do not know constitutional rights and testing out your free speech rights could still get you in handcuffs if you face a police officer or group of police who do not like your attitude. And the risk of police abusing your rights will only increase if there are no cameras. But that's why James Freeman and other auditors are always recording and encourage the rest of us to always record our police interactions. The video does not lie, and the camera serves as a reminder to police that they cannot get away with things that they did 10 years ago. One other thing you may have noticed in this video, James Freeman repeatedly asked the cops to identify themselves through their name and badge numbers. These cops refused. And that is against department policy. Nearly every law enforcement agency in America requires police officers to identify themselves whenever asked. There are a few exceptions if a cop is working undercover, but once a police officer stops, detains, or questions you, you have a right under police policy to know the officer's name and badge number. You also have a right not to answer any of their questions. In other words, police are required to disclose their names, but citizens do not have to say anything. It's a little more complicated when you are the driver of a car who gets stopped for an alleged traffic violation. In most cases, the driver must then provide ID and proof of insurance. But if you're walking along a public sidewalk or public easement, as James Freeman was doing, you do not have to identify yourself or answer any questions. Kudos to James Freeman and other police auditors across the United States who are fearlessly educating police and the public. These efforts are making a difference. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section.